Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how you can create and sell templates with Canva. Okay, before we get started on creating your templates and how you can sell those and where to sell those, there's one big thing that I want to be make you aware of. Now, that is that you can't just take any of the templates that are available on Canva and sell them as your own. You cannot do that, whether that's on printed designs or anything else like that. So if you're looking at creating content using Canva templates that are actually already there, that is something that you cannot do. It's in their terms and service. So don't do it. Creators like myself that create those templates on Canva do have the copyright on those. So like myself, if I created a template on Canva, I can actually sell that elsewhere as well. But let's get in and show you exactly how you can actually do this. Okay, so when you come to Canva, you'll come in and you'll want to just create your template. So what I've done is I've created this template here. It's actually very similar to one of the templates that I've actually created over here that's available on my profile in Canva. So I'll link to that down below and my profile also. This is the tracker, habit tracker that I wanted to create. It's just a square post that I've created for Instagram. Now, if I wanted to sell this or sell this as part of a pack that I was creating, what I would need to do is actually then go away and create a PDF that is then clickable in order to be able to link people back to this template. Now, let me show you exactly how you do that. So here's a simple PDF download that I've created. This is just an A4 document or legal letter document if you're in the US. It can be whatever size document you want. It's just a document that you're gonna export as a PDF that's gonna have a clickable link or multiple clickable links to your documents. This, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it for one, but you just then replicate that for doing multiple documents or multiple designs if you wanted to and if you wanted to see this one this is one that I've created for uh, lined documents that I've got available in my shop so I'll put a link to my shop on my for my website in the description down below but I've done that and also if you sign up for my newsletter I send you a PDF where you can access some templates that you can then update and things like that as well. I want to dive into more about how you can do this and I want to try it along with you. I haven't sold my templates on places like Etsy or the Creative Marketplace and I've only just started selling them on my own website as well. So as I come across and do these over the next few months and things like that, I want to be sharing kind of like my results with you. So do make sure you click like and subscribe subscribe in order to follow along. Okay, so this is just a document I've created. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. It gives the person that's receiving this. So let me wind back a little bit. When you buy a template or a group of templates online, what you're actually buying is your link to a PDF document that then links to the templates available on Canva. You do have to make sure that those templates are always available. Don't delete the templates your side. So otherwise the person clicking that link won't be able to then access that template. So when you're in, I've just created this. Let's just say, thank you. Here's a link to my template. And then I've got, you know, this is what you'll see when you click the download. And then I've given some other links to some other templates. This is just, so what I've done is if you click on these links, when you've purchased this item from me or signed up for my newsletter, if you click on any of these links, it'll take you to those templates that are available on my profile on Canva. And also I've given a link to the 45 day pro Canva trial. Okay, and then also what I do is I come in and I give you a little brief overview of how you can update the templates and also some of the elements and how to find my elements in Canva. So it's kind of like you're buying this product from me, but here's also how you can then interact with me on Canva and find other documents that I'm creating. So how do we create this link? All we're gonna do is if we come back to our template that we've created here, we click on the share icon and then it's this item here, template link. If you don't see it here, if you click on the more item here and then you can just search it in here, it should be in this top section here. And we're just gonna click template link and that's gonna give us the template link. It's one template link that we're gonna then be able to paste and link on our PDF document. So we're just gonna copy that 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our PDF document now once we're on here we just highlight the item that we want people to click I've clicked download so you know hopefully that's kind of pretty straightforward for the person that's going to be buying this from me or receives my download as part of my email newsletter so I'm just going to click on that and then up in the corner here you'll see that these two like chain link up in the top right hand corner if I click on that I can then paste in a hyperlink as to what where that document or where that link takes you and it's that link that we copied a few moments ago so that's where you do that paste that now once you've done that what you then need to do is download this as your PDF document because it's that PDF document that you're going to upload to whether it's Etsy your own website or what's the other one creative market I've got them written down on the side here <laughs> I am going to be putting together a course on this once I've learned it a little bit better and once I've done that a little bit more and if you're part of my email newsletter when I launch that course I'm going to be creating an offer for you so you can sign up to that email newsletter now and I'm going to be offering a discount to that in the future so back to the document thank you for listening to that um, but thank you also for sticking around and watching this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to link we've clicked our link there now when we click share this document we want to download this document so if you come to download and the file type you'll want is PDF standard and you're going to download all five pages so this is what it'll look like when you that person receives the download they receive it via email automatically and that's how a lot of the sites are set up they're going to receive this document and they're going to see you know this is how you do it and you think like oh i'm going to click there but that's not where you're going to click you're going to click on the download item and then that's going to open up another window that's going to give you this or give your customer this view they then click this item here that says use template and then that's going to create a copy of that template on their side for them to use and it's as simple as that that's exactly how you do it places you can do this and sell your templates are etsy you've got creative marketplace i always forget that one creative marketplace and you can create your own website i create my website with squarespace if you want to try out squarespace i'll put a link down below to squarespace as well and i think you get 10 percent discount if you sign up using my link down there but i'm going to be doing more on how you can do that and if you're interested in knowing how i've set up my squarespace website to be able to sell templates and that side of things then just drop me a comment down below and let me know that that's something you're interested in but i think that's it that's everything i've got for you today if you do have any questions on how you can create templates and sell them on canva then drop me your comments down below as i say start off with a blank document create your own work find inspiration from places but don't copy them don't try and take the credit for somebody else's work it's just it's, it's not nice it's not nice people are trying to earn a living as well and taking somebody else's work is not nice so that's it that's all i've got sorry to end on a rant i love you guys uh thank you very much and until next time bye for now